um, when things are going tough, you just you measure things in a different way. Your goals are somewhat different, and we we really just wanted to play better, um, wanted to win, but uh, we knew we hadn't played a second half. Um, now we got to go back and play the first half, but we had really played well with some teams uh, in our league, whether it's Youngstown or Illinois State. Northern Iowa, or just, you know, all those teams, we were, we were punch for punch in the first half, and then um, we didn't seem to find that, um, that fifth gear in the second half, and we needed a goal today, um, as you set different goals for teams that need different goals. Um, we set a goal coming into this game that we need to keep playing early on to stay in the game, but then we need to find a way to reach down in the second half and, um, and play hard, fight hard, make plays, um, train hard. It's, it's, it's got nothing to do with being out of gas. It just, um, the other team starts making plays on us and we, we don't have the, we don't have the confidence uh, to fight through it and fight to win. And, we got our hands tied behind our back in the first half. Um, there's some things that went down that absolutely blow you away. You, you could look on our bench and see that we look like a wounded unit on MASH and guys on crutches, guys in slings, and, and they're all starters. And, um, and then the coup de gras, you take the guy that's probably playing the best on our team and he gets bumped or hit. Um, and concussed uh, Miles Bergman. And so they make a decision, and I stand by their decision. I'm not, I can't overrule it. And uh, these are professionals that, that know what they're doing. Uh, but when you take that guy out of our game, you take our field goal kicker, our X point place kicker, our punter, um, that's probably uh, a good third of our team, really. And what that guy was doing for us right now was, um, really keeping us, uh, our defense at bay. And, uh, so we lost him, and I tried, <laughs> tried to, the guy never gets hit. I told the trainer, and I, he didn't get hit. You know, he doesn't have to get hit. He barely got hit. Uh, but I couldn't get through that with the doctor. And I told him I'd been to probably 200 fights. I'm a fight fan. And <laughs> I see guys get punched in the first round, and you know, they go back, back to the corner and have the doctor come look at him. And, he might have been rocked a little bit, but they come back and fight 12 rounds. And, um, and I don't know what questions they're asking. Are they asking my guys who the vice president is? <laughs> or, you know, you know, I don't know. Uh, who's the speaker of the house? They don't know, so they take them out. Uh, so, but I couldn't get through, and I couldn't win that one. And I, I didn't really want to. I know they have to do it, but wow. So. Okay, and we put a place kicker in that's a walk-on that, um, you know, asked him, I said, you want to kick? At ha you know, at halftime, you know, and I knew he wanted to think about it. And, and uh, he looked like he saw a ghost, and I don't know, you know. <laughs> um, then the other guys come back to me, the kickers, they say, Coach, he wants to do it, but he's worried that he's not good enough. And I said, well, he's the best one we got. If he wants to do it, well, then he said, I'll do it. And I said, I'll, be, I'll, I'll letter you, you deserve it, you're trading a, a year for a few kicks here. And uh, so, uh, but we, we lost really, and that's unusual, you don't ever. When's the last time you saw a punter, uh, you know, a place kicker, take a, so that hurt, and almost hurt more mentally than what it does to you, you know, you know you're not going to get another field goal. You know, you're not going to be able to kick an extra point. We don't have a guy to kick off. It just um, so we got guys running in there, and so that. But at halftime, we we said let's we've got a problem. Not so much you know, and we're not out of the game. We fought back pretty good, pretty valiantly in the second quarter. And um, however, we need to make a, a point. 
we said before the game we're going to fight better than we have in the second half. And now we got outscored the second half, but not really. I mean, our defense really played well. I thought that's the way you have to play defense in this league. You got that, that kid might be the best running back in the nation, and he didn't get on us much in the second half. I guess he had a touchdown run, but uh, no, he didn't in the second half. And um, but that was good for our defense. I was really glad to see him gang tackle and hit. Just seemed like they're hitting, you know, uh, with a good football team and waiting in there and trading punches and taking it and giving it back and playing hard and, and making a punt. I mean, seeing, did they have to punt a few times? Yeah, they made five punts. Let's make that team punt five times. That's pretty good. Um, so I know the score doesn't reflect it, but our team played better than than we had played. And, and we didn't get off the field. I saw Jason, he's mad that we didn't stone him in the second half. They did have a long drive. That, um, yeah, they went 13 plays, 79. We had to stop him there, and we just couldn't get him off the field on third down, and we didn't get it done. And I don't, Jason's feeling bad about that. And then, you know, you throw a pass, Hail Mary, Hail Mary out is what that play was called. So it's not her fault. Uh, <laughs> but, um, that looks bad, you know. I know the defensive coordinator. But realistically, we held them to ten points in the second half. And, uh, we took the ball away from them. I don't know how many times did you see? Huh? Three. Three. That's good. They're all strips too. I mean, other guys that just dropped the ball. They got stripped. Four fumbles and yeah. And we didn't have a turnover until that last deal. Is that right? So we had two interceptions. Maybe. One's an extra point. One was a punt, kind of Earl for D. Yeah. So we're doing some pretty good things, just, you know, probably not um, enough to beat the number eight team in the nation. But they didn't put in their twos. You never saw that once. They had, they had their best players on the field for the duration. Uh, no JV game. And uh, they knew they were in a fight to the second half, you could tell. In the fast start, you know, it was just a matter of, you know, hit that guy being so good. And, and, or what, you, you know, know, when you go up against athletes you don't see in scouting, um, I used to notice that when we play Air Force that the speed of what you're seeing, the way they do it and the way your scout team does it, is so mind-blowingly different uh, that it takes some time a quarter, quarter and a half, <coughs> your defense, even if they're really top-notch defense, um, to get to the, the speed of the game that you're seeing with Trey Robertson and Robertson and Marshawn Coppridge and, uh, and that that probably is, you know, where, and I give them credit, that's a good, a great football team. Really, they are. Were they nine and one? Um, Held it down the second half. They kept their good guys in there, and they had to. You know, they had to. took it away from them. And made made a game out of it anyway, and uh, made them keep their good guys. And I think that's good for us. I you know, that, that thing could have gone south. Second half, the way we've been playing in the second half. To our our kids' credit, they fought hard. Everybody can see that. Before you did more valiant effort today, I mean, how tough was it to pretty much be one dimensional on offense? Say it again. How tough was it to sort of be one dimensional kind of all game on offense? Just, we couldn't block them. Um, you guys, we got issues up front that, you know, part of that bunch that's over there with tape and eye bandages and concussions and <laughs> no helmet because the training staff took their helmet away. Um, I'm not really. It, we're fighting with one hand on our back, behind our back a little bit. You know? um, and I love our kids that are in there playing, but we got good football players, really good, top-notch football, big recruits. Our best lineman that's our right tackle. Um, 
we thought coming into the season that our center would be one of the top centers. Uh, even at his redshirt freshman year, Sam McLaren was a guy that maybe his home state school on him. And, uh, anyway, uh, for those guys to get hurt, that takes a lot of them. You don't see it. You know, nobody sees line play, but that's the hardest part of the game, really hard. And, uh, to not have Derek Chancellor and Sam McLaren and uh, those guys in there for us. Uh, and, you know, I'm not crying, I'm just telling you the facts that we're taking some sacks and we got guys in there that weren't quite ready yet. You know, I'm, I'm, when I was winning at Northern Colorado and winning at Montana, we were playing 50 or seniors almost every year. You know, or fourth or fifth year seniors, you know, juniors and seniors that you red shirt guys and, uh, and our program's not there yet. You can see we're playing a lot of younger guys and we really do. I heard Kean say it. We need to be playing red shirt guys that, uh, and yeah, I think he said we what Steve Tillerson would finish it up. And today we had uh, Huffer who was a senior uh, playing. We have another senior playing on offense. I think we started two of the Schofield. Schofield, right? Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, there it is. So, uh, yeah, we'll get better. We'll get better. Three running backs. That happened last year. Corey didn't have much of a chance. You could see we couldn't block him with what we had. So, you think this is one of Kevin's better games? Well, I had a guy yelling at me at halftime, put number two in. You know, I mean, what? Yeah, he played well. He had a heavy rush, you yeah. know, really heavy. And he slung it. I mean, he didn't throw it to them either until you know, the last play of the game. And he, uh, on the extra point, Munchie fell down. And uh, so what are you going to do, eat it? You got to take a shot at it, don't you? And uh, that's his two interceptions. Even though they didn't throw an interception, in my mind, they didn't put the team in harm's way. And Munch would be the first to tell you that although he had his best career game, no doubt, he knows he missed two that moved the chains for us and um, got punt. So, uh, the margin for error is not very much. You can't miss here right now. And uh, so those two, you know, well, I don't want to stop with Munchie on that. I, that guy, he's got a heart. And he plays with spirit and fight. And he made big plays that cancel those two. But that's how close it is. We've got to have every one of those if we want even a close chance to win next week. You know, we've got to catch everything. Everything's got to be where we can catch it. And he does. He, he had, he hardly ever misses a practice. That's why we. <laughs> you think? Coach, can you talk about uh, finishing the season at your rival in SCSU? I couldn't say anything you could print. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's state to you. And. Um, we're all on the same team. We'd be the best of friends, but we're not. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> we're not. We're not. We got to go out and got to find a way to beat them. And uh, we better play with everything we got in our heart and soul. Lay it on the line for South Dakota. That's all I know. And uh, this is the most fun game I've ever played in uh, as a player. I to play a lot as a junior and, and as a senior. And it, Everybody's got to play a level higher than what they are at. Uh, you have to be playing at Mach 1, there's no doubt. And, you know, hope we're good enough. I hope we get a little help back on offense. Jasper Sanders, I hope that he gets back. I hope Jordan Roberts gets back. I hope we get a kicker, a punter, <laughs> everybody else back that didn't play for much uh, today. So we got to be at ramming speed, there's no doubt. And we got to play with the eye of the tiger like you can't believe. Coach, do you like your team's out heading into the next 
Yeah, we're making an improvement. Anybody that's, that's watched this uh, knows we're playing hard. I, we, better, we better improve. We're not good enough right now. But um, we played hard the second half. That's what I asked. And um, it's, yeah, this is a game. This will be a fun game. Hey, you, everybody will have fun playing in it. But you better play it in it and play well. And you better not make mistakes. And you better make interceptions and get fumbles and uh, do everything you can possibly do to win this game. I mean, it's. It's the biggest game in this state, and I don't care what they say. They can say they like to play North Dakota State. I'm calling BS on that. <laughs> this game is uh, between State and you. And if you don't believe me, if they lose, you watch and see. And they better beat us. I promise you that. And we better beat them. So uh, this just it, it, it'll take us once to get their attention, probably. But. We can do it. We better, we better wind one up and come out swinging. And because uh, they're a great football team, we know that. Yeah. How'd they come out today? Anybody know? MCM. Yeah. Yeah. They're winning. They're winning big right now. Yeah. Well, they got a lot more to play for than we do. Maybe. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. Thanks, All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.